first, a surprising new twist tonight in a deadly shooting. A man claimed he was trying to save his neighbor from a dog attack when he accidentally shot her. But was she really being mauled? 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig found out the victim's family is raising new questions. As Michael Williams was being arraigned here in 36th District Court, the victim's family now casting doubt on his story. Michael Williams. Thank you, Mr. Williams. The 61-year-old charged with careless discharge of a weapon causing death. Investigators say Michael Williams shot and killed his neighbor, Patricia Cosby. Williams talked to 7 Action News the day after it happened, saying he was trying to protect Cosby because a dog was attacking her. But I was just trying to do what she asked me to do was to help her. At that time, Cosby's own father and stepmother did not want to see Williams charged with a crime, but now they do. Then when we got the uh, death certificate, it didn't say anything about dog bites or anything, it's, it said homicide. That's what the death certificate said. Nothing about a dog bite or anything. And a source close to the investigation says there was no evidence of a dog bite found on Patricia Cosby's body. So what did happen out here on Goodwin Street that day? Patricia's family eager to learn the truth because her stepmother says she certainly wasn't being mauled by a dog. Well, the doctor, when we went down to the hospital, uh, her daddy asked her, was, did she have any scratches or dog bison? She said no. Uh, was her clothes torn? He, she said no. I just did all I could to try to help her. That's all. You no, know, she begged me to help her, and I ran down to try to help her. And this dog trying to attack, 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 attack. The judge setting bond at $45,000, but Williams can be released if he posts just 10% of that. And we wondering, was it a dog? Was it really a dog? If Michael Williams does make bond, he's not allowed to possess any firearms. In downtown Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.